what's up guys welcome back to another video on my channel i know it's a little windy right now but right now i'm on my way uh downtown i'm on the d blocks big ripper but first we gotta head to the gas station and put some air in, in my front tire I gotta work on that cut, man. So right now I am currently downtown West Palm Beach, man. I'm about to hit the city for a little bit. But yeah, guys, we're on the D-Blocks Big Ripper. I got some air in the front tire, so now I figured I'd go ahead and do this review for you guys. So first things first, this bike can cut up. You guys are wondering. You guys know me, man. Your boy Steve's just trying to cut up. But nah, this bike can cut up, for real. Like, especially with the skinny rims, because if you guys know the 2021 Big Rippers, well, the other model Big Rippers have the more thicker rims. There's more width in the other rims, but for these rims, they're more skinny. Uh, I don't I don't have no complaints about these rims at all. They actually still get the job done. They still cut up. I personally think they have the, they keep the bike a little bit more lighter, especially when you have that uh, 33 16 gear ratio. So the bike definitely feels light. Some people like heavy bikes with me personally. I do not like heavy bikes. Yeah, this bike can it can it can maneuver for sure. In case you guys didn't know, you can put 29 inch by 2.8 tires on the 2021 Big Rippers. Basically the same tires that come on a Monster Quad or Dub Ripper, you can put the same tires on this bike. And also, if you guys wanted to convert your bike to disc brakes, there's the clearance on this side to do so. There's enough clearance for you to put disc brakes on this bike as well. But for now, I'm running the V brakes. And I got the ROS 33-2 sprocket on there. Helps with the wheelies. Helps wheelie the bike more easier and stuff like that. But everything else is pretty much stock on this bike. Besides the bars, obviously I changed the bars. I changed the brakes. Got some Mayor grips on there. Shout out to Mayor BMX. Got the Bozax on there. I already said that all that in the last video, but I figured I'd remind you guys. Stock brakes. Pretty much it. This bike, this bike feels good. It rides good. They put that new bottom bracket on there. That thing feels smooth as well. 
they're interchangeable too. You might have to just pop out the uh, bearings. I would prefer having a bike shop do it if you guys don't have the correct tools, but these bottom brackets are changeable. If you guys want to upgrade to like profile or something, you can do that. Um, but yeah, guys, it's the bike, man. We downtown catching the vibe. pans for this bike it's gonna stay how it is all i'm gonna probably do is put a free wheel on there or profile hubs not sure yet not sure yet i want to put some profile hubs for sure but that's a little pricey i'd rather just put a free wheel on here and call it a day but i'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet but other than that everything is gonna stay stock i saw a comment of somebody asked me if i'm gonna put disc brakes on this bike to be honest with you guys i love the v brakes i ain't got no problem with them i already got bikes with disc brakes i don't want all my bikes to have disc brakes i like to switch it up a little bit so this bike is going to stay with the v brakes i'm gonna just make sure these things stay dialed and whatnot yeah that's a clean be beamer right there beamer fire is that an m3 nope but yeah guys this bike is going to stay stock at least i'm going to try to keep it stock 